make a video tutorial for Valentine's Day for you. This is a really fun design. I'm going to start out by using a high density sponge and this prismic cake. It's called Floor. I'm going to go from the forehead downward and um, what we're going to do is we're going to start out by kind of creating a half circle. Let me show you how I do that. We're going to put the dark red at the top of your head right by your hairline and you can cover that with your hand if you want to. And we're just going to drag it down and around so it looks a little like this. And I'm tapping lightly as I drag it across my head so that the colors will not smear and, and they'll blend a little bit more evenly. Blend it up towards the hairline. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a little of that white that you have on the edge and just blend that into the red. Because there is pink um, between those two colors on the palette, but sometimes they run together a lot. So there, you've got that and you can just even it out if it's uneven anywhere using the colors on the sponge that you need for that spot. Make sure that your base coat um, whatever color it is, is really dry before you lay that stencil down on top of it. So I am just loading the metallic purple on here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it and you can have it this way or this way, whichever way you prefer, and put it right on top of those colors. Lay them, press them flat against your skin. And then, <laughs> if you can, not to cover your face while you do it, um, you're going to gently stipple the paint on by tapping up and down over the entire thing. And because you're using a nice dark color, you'll only need to go ev over everything once. Then very carefully peel the stencil off. And then you've got that beautiful design, very ornate, right on top of your, your background colors. So that's really fancy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to take those colors I used earlier from the Prismacake I just dropped, excuse me, <clears throat> and I'm going to reload them one more time. And I'm going to just touch a little bit of the white and pink right here to my eyelids. Like that. Mm -hmm. And the same on the other side. I'm just putting some color on there. Now use the other side of your sponge to just sort of blend them all together because you're just going to make a really pretty pink color coming up towards your eyebrows. Like that. Pretty simple. And you can Keep blending until you achieve, you know, the overall look that you're going for, whatever you'd like. And now we're going to bring in a number five round brush and some white paint. And just load that brush, get it really saturated. We're going to make some teardrops going from the outer edge of the temple to the center of the eye. Four of them on each side. Like that. Now we're going to bring the teardrops down from the center of the painting towards the nose. I'm going to start with the skinny side of my brush first and work my way down. Going nice and slow. And I'm just making a fan out to one side, and it's okay if they're not perfect. We're going to go over them with a liner brush to sort of balance it all out. Just make sure you've got a really nice sharp edge by swirling your brush. Now 
I'm going to go ahead and make some nice long sort of fat at the end and thin at the back teardrops to go around the frame of this. Two that way, going from the center back. Now I'm going to switch their direction and they're going to meet with the skinny tails of each teardrop at the end. So I'm going to bring some up from here. Like that. And two from here. like that. And then you can make some little dots. You just three of them right in the center of each of those groups of teardrops. Right there. So you've got that center done. We're going to switch to a thinner brush now. And what I'm going to use actually, it's um, a number two round brush. We're going to use that to make some swirls coming out of the bottom of these fans. There. And out of the top. There we go. And now we're going to bring in some beautiful red, just like we used at the top. This is um, Paradise Red. And I'm going to use my number one liner brush to do this because we want it to be really thin and detailed. So just take your time with this. Remind the person you're painting to hold nice and still right now because this is a really fine liner brush. And I'm just going to work my way around the whole thing. Okay, so that took a little bit of time um, outlining the entire thing. It's totally, you know, it's not exactly necessary, but I think it just makes the whole thing pop. And when you're not painting your own face backwards in a camera with a mirror behind it, it's um, probably a lot faster to do. So what I'm going to do now is just use that same brush that I just used to outline everything with that dark red, and I'm going to make some stars with it, just little ones with my white paint, the same white paint I used earlier. And make some little dots here and there. You can make them on the inner corner of the eye too. It just makes everything look embellished and more sparkly, which is one of my favorite things. Your stars can be anywhere. Nice to put little dots around them too. Just gives them a little more dimension. Okay, there. All right, now that you've got your stars and dots and we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna add some glitter. I really like this colored glitter. Um, you can use translucent, but I've got some purple glitter right here. And it's really nice because it's light and purple and it has some translucent glitter mixed into it. 
And the translucent glitter that's in it is the kind that you can get from Silly Heart. You just tap it around the corners of the eyes and over the eyelids. You can put it on the center of the fan. All up over here and there. 